Father, we worship you and we honor you. Be thou glorified in Jesus' precious name. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Psalm 139, verse 14. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. The wonders of worship. The wonders of worship. The psalmist is saying, he is going to praise God for two reasons. First, for being fearfully and wonderfully made. And second, for the marvels of his works. That says to me that worship, among other things, will achieve two things in the lives of a person. One, your worship will unveil the wonders of your making. If somebody will worship God, if somebody will give him praise, the wonderful things and the fearful things God packaged into your life will be unveiled, unveiled, unveiled. That is, your worship will bring you to a point where you are a wonder to your world, a wonder to yourself. Your worship will bring you to a point where you will be afraid of what God does with you. I will praise you because I know I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You want to see the wonders of yourself. Worship him. You want to see the fearfulness of what God can do with your life. Worship him. Worship is one of my major keys in life. My life is a wonder to many. And a wonder to myself in many ways. Secondly, your worship will provoke the marvels of his works. Marvelous are your works. Give him praise and see marvelous things. 